Hello everyone, I'm River Fox and welcome to the channel. And today I am on my second account on Twine Peak Storm Shield Defense Number Two. Now, if you did miss the video of the Defense Number One, then do check that out. There should be a link in the playlist down below. Now, I won't go through all of these two builds on this side because I did do uh, cover most of that in the first video, but I have made a few slight changes. So, if we just get over here to the east first of all and I'll show you the changes that I have made now a lot of this really is in preparation for future storm shields it may not all be necessary for this one but it will be later on because no no matter which defense you do do whether it be one or ten you will always get attacked from the east and from the north for your main storm shield. So you will always get attacked there. So it's a good idea to try and set up some decent actual um, defenses there now so that they are in preparation for future ones. Now I have set up this uh, sort of lobby shield here with our infamous tire traps up here and our ceiling zappers as well now we do in twine peaks we do get these lava balls and there we go if you place your structures especially your ceiling pieces three tiles high then the lava bombs will go straight through them and not destroy the structures now if you do place any structures that are less than the three stories high then it will destroy a four tile square area whenever that lava bomb does hit and that is those four squares there so it is that the same on the floor or on the ceiling so do make sure you place any structures three tiles high now because it is three tiles high then i have put my ceiling drop traps and we've just got a couple of electric zappers in the middle because ceiling drop traps will work from three height um, drop so it will be quite effective and as majority will spawn here then it is going to destroy majority of your spawns as soon as they come so that is pretty much it i i did add a, a couple of broadsides along there with the the big wall now you will notice on here that i did try um over here i managed to put in the slanting roof piece over there but when i did try that on here for some reason it did still destroy those four squares so it didn't seem to to like that idea from from that point but that will work just as good now from the north then again i have done pretty much the same thing and we got the lava ball coming in there we go now they will spawn over here they will spawn at this spot they will spawn at this spot and they will spawn down here so what i have done is i have set up all of the tire traps around these areas that they are able to walk across i haven't bothered with those six tiles in the middle because they will literally just be too high that they won't actually go off so what i did do is i put another row along the sort of edge of my trap tunnels with all the tire traps in so literally at any point that they get to the trap tunnels then all of these tire traps will go off and especially these three in the middle whenever they go off they will actually roll down this ridge all the way down to the bottom here so any that are still spawning and still coming up this ridge will get hit by those three tire traps and pretty much taken out before they start now you do have to go careful of those because they will cause, cause you damage if you get in the way uh but it is going to be a bit tricky in later waves, so we'll need to do some extra defences around here because lobbers will just wander all the way over this way to actually get to our amplifier. But for the time being, then this will be more than sufficient. So what we're going to do is we're just going to get over here to the other side of this trap tunnel. As said, if you do want to actually check on the builds for this lot, then do check out the uh, Storm Shield Defense number one, and that will give you all the information on that. Now, for number two, we are going to need to set a new amplifier. Now, you will have either this option here to the west 
or you will have that one over there which I have set that one over there and I will explain why in a moment now for this one then uh, until this one is set you will get attacked from the west and they generally seem to spawn around down that point down there and because of this wall it does give you very limited space if you were to set this amplifier now then you literally have very limited space in order to do any of your building so it's a good idea to leave this one perhaps until uh, storm shield number three perhaps and uh, when you have to set the next amplifier so in case of any attacks at the moment from the west now i've not gone anything massive because, as I said, we will be setting this one before long. So anything that we do place in here would just get torn down because it won't be um, needed and, and required any further. So I've not gone anything massive or fancy. But if they happen to come along this side, then they're going to get flung over there, either into the llama. <laughs> lava or down onto these ridges and then they've got to try and find a different route out if they come through the bottom half here then they have got to come through all of this lot and make their way up through all of these which i i tell you one thing things are definitely not storing because i did have all of this trapped up and for some reason they are not here any longer so weird but okay we do have all of these traps up here just to catch them then when they are coming up and if they get this far then they're either going to get flung back this direction or they will get flung down there as well and hopefully with both of them at the same time it will literally fling them this direction in a diagonal straight down here either to the alarm uh llama why do i keep saying that <laughs> to the lava um or down onto that ridge which they will be stuck on permanently now if they do happen to come up through the top then what we have done we have again have got loads more tire traps up here which will catch them on any parts of these ridges and those tires will go all the way down here to catch any coming up so if they get up here then more likely they will come up along this way which we've got more launchers here but if they break through that then we've got our broadsides and everything along this section as well to catch them hopefully before they get any further and a few um, launchers on here which are going to fling them down into this pit and hopefully kill them off before they can get back up so that is our west side okay now let's go and see this bit down here now you may remember as well on my first uh, storm shield i did have a load of defenses set up around here well i've knocked all of them down because they will now no longer be required so for this one then if they come from the south they will spawn from around that area down there and so I have set up here basically a load of traps along this ridge and a ramp here because when they spawn majority of them will come up from this ramp and they will get hit by these tire traps which will then go all the way down and hopefully kill off anything coming up there if they come around this side then they have got to get past all the floor launchers and the wall dynamos and we've also got some ceiling zappers up there which will zap them as well and then they will get flung off down the side which they'll either land down on that little platform down there or down in the lava either way they'll be stuck so if they're if they're down there they are out the way they won't cause any problems if they come along this side then we got a wall launch to fling them into this pit and if they get any further then they got uh, the wall darts and we've got floor launchers here as well which will fling them into that pit as well which of course we've got broadsides and we've got our retractable floor spikes on it um, if they actually come up there is a little ledge up there a little ramp and one up there as well so they may come up this long way round if they do 
then they should hopefully come along this way because this will be the shortest route to the um, actual amplifier and they will have to come through all of these traps then and more zappers and everything in here so the other direction that they will come from is the east and it it is a little limited on where you can build because we have got this wall literally slap bang in the middle of our tunnel but they will spawn mainly around this spot here with the occasional uh, sort of spawn point down here as well so we've set up a few little bits along here to catch them if they come up this side and majority will be from here so if i just get through this back up to the top and I'll show you what I've got set up up there. So if we come along around here. Now I have got my defender pads in here. Which I have got three set up at the moment. But I only use two currently. Because I've only got the two actual defenders to put in there. But I always use the neon sniper rifle. Which shoots through walls. So they will at least be able to do um, shooting to majority of them. Now I have got a bit of a, a lobber shield set up along here. But what you will need to do when the first wave is going over to the main storm shield, it is generally from the east over in that spot. And I did make a couple of changes, as I said, so these hopefully will take out a lot of the actual husks before they even make it into the tunnels. So while that storm um, wave is going then you will need to come over here you will need to put more of a lobber shield along this edge but you will also need I don't know if you can see too well but you will need to get down there um, behind that wall and actually set up a sort of blockade along there because you will get a lot of lobbers especially but flingers as well that will literally go all the way down there all the way through that sort of um, mountain base over there they will come up and if I just briefly get back over here they will actually come up along all of this lot around here they will come up this ridge and they will stand around this spot lobbing at your actual amplifier so you are going to need to do that but you can't do it at the moment you have to wait until the actual um storm shield has started once the uh, wall comes down and then you can actually get your defenses set up so that is that is my new amplifier a uh, so what we're going to do now we are going to go and get this storm shield started and let's get that sort of blockade set up over there and yeah we'll see just how well we can do on a solo actually as it's pretty normally this direction that they will come from first you watch is going to prove me absolutely wrong but let me get my defenders ready and then all i've got to do is put my base down and then we can get going and you watch it's going to come from the north but generally it will come from the east to start with so let us get this activated here we go okay are you ready to prove me wrong no it is coming from the east good prepare for an attack from the east okay let's get our base down there okay now they can keep all of that going while we get over here well out of their way and then we can go around here and first of all if we get up the top we can put some more lobber shield up here ready because this is the annoying bit you can't do this fully and it's not going to stay but you can't do this until the actual mission has started so it'll probably take some damage yes okay so we need to get something set up in here just to stop them from getting too far forward and i need one more of them let's make a couple more we can at least put them on there and hopefully that's going to prevent them from going around that way uh, i don't think there's anywhere else is there because they're not going to get down from there so that is fine just want to make that a little bit stronger and you know what just to be on the safe side let's put two of them 
Now, of course, these ones are not going to stay when you have actually finished your mission. Oh, see, we even had one coming all the way over there. Um, they're not going to stay there when you've finished your mission, but at least it is going to be, um, you know, it'll hopefully prevent those lobbers from getting around doing any damage. And there we go. That'll do. We'll get that one up there. Yep. That'll do for there. Okay. So let's get over here and see where our next one is going to be. It's probably actually going to be Amplifier A anyway. So we we're not going to go too far. Yes. There we go. So it's coming from the east. So we will see whether it is going to do its job. This is the thing. Because I have tested this out once or twice beforehand. Just to make sure that everything was sort of working correctly. Um, what I'm actually, what I'm actually going to do. I have got a load of defender pads which I've set up up here. So if I put one of my defenders in there then any that do come along here hopefully will take any out let's see how it goes now i haven't bothered making any of the lobber shield um into tier two or tier three because it's literally you know it's not going to um it's not going to really get hit anyway when when you get on to your next storm shield and get on to higher level um, storm shields then it'll be the wall will be that further back so you will then be able to actually get and put some some zappers or tire traps on the uh, lobber shield anyway and that's going to take out majority as they come up okay do we have any wanderers now we got one or two over here trying to actually make their way See, see how far they will actually go back in order to try and find a route? They will literally go so far back over there. And they are constantly just looking towards your base, looking for that route to actually get round there. And... Oh, now we've got to take it now, have we? Yeah, we don't want them. You can get away from me. Um, but yes, they will They will make their way as far as they possibly can in order to get an angle on it. And there we go. They are still making their way. We have a break in the Luckily, we got there without it. And they went all the that way around. Okay. So next one, we're coming from the north. So we get back up to our main one up here and we want to get around here because we want our base to be there now we can put our two defenders back in which are going to help there we go Got enough ammo yes Got enough. See, why are you on that one again? I don't know why you keep having that blooming thing. You're not going to do anything with the blooming <sighs> super shredder, are you? Right. Now, actually, I did mean to have put, wow, that on there. I meant to have done that last time. Now, when I've upgraded my traps and got them to 106s, I won't be getting any smashers coming all the way up. Hopefully, anyway. Okay. Who stop smashing on my walls? I don't know. We'll leave him. He's not going to do no problem. The rest of them aren't going to make it no further up anyway. We shall have them. Thank you. Now this you can see if I get out of the way of the smashers. 
This is our tire traps working. Which they, they run all the way down there doing damage. And smashers. Get out of it. Thank you. Eesh. You destroyed that one again, didn't you? They do not half charge a long way, I'm telling you. Never mind. It's them gas traps it is. I need to change these gas traps and put in the, uh, the ceiling zappers because these gas traps just really aren't effective any longer. But never mind. We have got no damage to our storm shield. And this will do perfectly fine for this defense. But I'm going to be working really hard now on getting my um, traps leveled up and at least try and get them to some epic rolls. Okay. Yeah, we're all right. We've only got 22 seconds left. There we go. He's gone. I left in some of the old traps that I had from my first defense, which is why some of these are getting destroyed a lot easier than they would normally be, because I've got so many of them gas traps, which are used to be, as I said, they used to be really powerful traps, the best traps there was, but not anymore. Right, let's get over here and place everything back down here base in there and we shall have defender in there and I'm gonna put one of them back up over here again to hopefully catch any more of those lobbers that come along there we go I need to work on my defenders too because I don't even have any other kind of defenders I can use I've only got Two neon ones and all the rest are level 20, so hey ho. Now, let's see where they're going to be coming from. Because this is where they, this is where they went. They went all the way around there, as you can see. And if we get that on there. Hopefully we'll prevent them at least a little bit. See, he's going all the way back now because he knows he can't find a way around. So he's going all the way back up there. Okay. How are we looking over this side then? See, in um, Stoneward and Plankton, Canny Valley, pretty much... Most defenses that you do are pretty easy to actually, um, um, you know, build everything ready before um, beforehand. But when you get into Twine Peaks, you get so much less space and, and limited sort of space that you can actually um, build with each defense. So it does get more tricky and you do have to do some things on the fly, but... Nonetheless, we are doing okay. Con Defender, are you going to take him out? Or is he gone? He's gone already. There we go. And we got nothing else making it any further here. So hopefully at some point we'll be able to get something permanent set up down there. Just to prevent them from being able to get round at all. I'm going to leave this Defender here though. Because if we do get any come round, then at least they will take them out. Uh, how are we looking? Doing all right. Nobody's made it through yet, have they? Uh, no, nobody's made it up here at all. Oh, we got, oh, we got one up there. We got that far, but they haven't made it to the next one yet. Which, considering they're only eighty-two traps, is it's pretty good actually. Hey. Yeah, I know I shouldn't be in my trap tunnels, but can't leave mats go to waste. 26 seconds left. 
I'm not sure if there's one more wave after this or if that is the last one. But I think we're fine. Yeah, so it's a flinger. And he's gone. And we don't have any more that will come around this way? No. Awesome. So finally, we managed to get that sorted out. It was just that annoying bit where they kept coming over there. And we are done. Zero damage to the amplifiers. And zero damage shooting none at all. Awesome job. So there we are. That is how to do your Twine Peak Storm Shield Defense number two. Now, as I said, if you can get 106 weapons, I would recommend getting those. You are going to need those at least for the next couple of defenses in Twine Peaks. And when you get into, say, four, five, yeah, about five or six, um, you will most definitely need 130s for them. But I hope this does help you out. If it does, don't forget to drop a like down below, smash that subscribe before you go, and if you turn on the notification bell, then you will always get updated of all my content when it comes out. If you do buy anything from the Fortnite store, then please consider using code RIVERFOX, as it will help me out a great deal. And if you want to keep up to date on everything relating to the channel, then do check out my Discord and Twitter accounts. The links for those will be in the description down below, along with a link for my second channel, More Fox. But I hope you have a lovely day and until the next time, stay safe, my friends.